Riley's today at Insane Maybe it's the life I chose. Maybe it's the times I had no one to hold. Maybe just one time I can do a show and fly away. Just for a day, paper planes will be that new days. I sold my season trip ties, be the new hang. No butane, sipping liquid cocaine. Visions of my own game, left behind my own name. Every track to find same. Now I'm going insane, but walk with me. Sky falling like a bean, I did it. Possibly definition of addiction. Look at what it's costing me. Your heart so rich, I keep under lock and key. Damn, another casualty. Cash another casualty. Dead inside. Maybe if we talk some healing, it would lead to clearer skies. Maybe when it rains, erase the pain that we drew inside. Maybe when I sing, Lord, I pray the bells ring inside. If I die, you can tell Gavin how I live my life. Tell him like some bitch, but she was my wife. Married to the game, love the way she lied. What's going on everyone? It's your boy NH Live Dooney, aka the real Stevie B. And as you can tell from the title, this is not gonna be something pretty, this is not gonna be something nice. This is gonna just be the real deal, politically incorrect. France, you had it coming. Now, I do wanna say this and let it be very clear because I don't even know why I'm gonna do it because people still gonna take the other stuff and totally disregard this and say this is what I'm saying instead of that and this is what I believe instead of that but fuck it I'm gonna do it anyway so I can still refer back to the video and say if you scroll to this time frame this minute this second in this video you will hear when I say it that my heart goes out to all the innocent people lost in that tragedy it is not their fault. It is not their fault their government doesn't give a fuck about them. It is not their fault that they're expendable to their government or any government altogether. It is not their fault. I feel sorry for them. Any innocent life lost is a, an innocent life lost anywhere is an innocent life lost everywhere. We're a global community. We're global citizens, period. Now with that out the way, France, you had it coming. Plain and simple. And for anybody that say I'm wrong for saying that, fuck you. I don't care. It's the truth. France had it coming. And America has it coming too. But anyway, before I get off topic real quick, just rambling, I do want to go ahead and say that this is going to be a two-part. I'm going to bring it into two parts. The first part I'm going to go ahead is going to be, okay, France had it coming and the general, general outrage, global outrage and reaction to everything. And then the second part, which will be in the next video, is the black reaction to what happened. And we're gonna go into all of that. But what I really wanted to talk about is France had it coming. I don't care, you don't like me saying that. I don't care if you say it's insensitive. I don't care if you say it's too soon. France had it coming. Paris, France had it coming, period. You think Charlie Hebdo was bad? You think this was bad? What about all the atrocities France has committed itself? France is reaping what it has sown. It has gone into multiple countries around the world, mass killings, rape, tor torture, genocide, you name it, they've done it. So now that it happens on their soil, all of a sudden it's a global tragedy. It is an act of war. It is inhumane that everybody needs to gather together and rise against this. But yet, nobody wants to rise and gather against everything that France has done. Now, France, mind you, Paris, France, and I'm, and I'm actually going to in, in, in depth into something more closely related to me being Haitian. Now, if those who don't know, Haiti used to be French property. French slave masters had plantations in Haiti which the slave trade dropped Africans off in Haiti. Now, with that being said, the, Af the Africans that were transplanted to Haiti finally rebelled, revolted, becoming the first black, first black revolution, first black country to gain its own independence and get rid of its slave master. But before we celebrate so soon, you got to understand the conditions of that freedom that they got, that they received. Because history tells us 
that after the Haitians, the Africans that were transplanted to Haiti and became Haitians, um, after they were transplanted there, after they got their independence and they kicked all the French people out, France says, well, okay, look, because you've successfully gained your independence, you successfully, successfully attained your freedom, we're going to give you a bill now. You owe us money for kicking us out, for freeing yourself. You owe us that. You owe us the money that we're losing, not keeping you as slaves. That is the mind. That is the, that is the mindset. That is that was the course of what happened. So France invoices Haiti, thereby bankrupting the country for decades and decades and decades and decades and still going on to this day. What's actually interesting is earlier this year. The French president was in Haiti and the talk of reparations came up. The talk of the money that was being charged, that was being invoiced to the Haitians came up and the president was like, okay, you know what? We're not going to give the money back. The Haitian president, that freaking puppet of a tycoon, uh, Sweet Mickey, he's, he's probably as sweet as his name is, but, uh, or Michel Martelly, President Michel Martelly, pussy. Anyway, that guy says, you know what, no, we don't need that, we need assistance, we don't need that money back, we don't need none of that, we need hell, we need to build stuff, are you fucking crazy? If you got that money, you can build those things you say you need to build. Get your fucking money back. But no, he said they don't need it. And France continues to act like it's the shit. Now, mind you, lots of killings, lots of, gen lots of raping, torture, kidnapping, smuggling, and everything going on in Haiti under this French, uh, this French flag and rule or whatever. That you want to refer, that they want to refer to, but the thing is, is like okay, that's just just a snapshot, just a snippet of what France has done, and that's just in Haiti, small little Haiti. But think about all the other countries that France has invaded. But does anybody want to pray for them? Does anybody want any kind of reparations for them? Does anybody want any kind of recourse for them? Nobody's talking about that. What about all those people the French have hurt? The French brought this on themselves, first and foremost. And I honestly, even that killing, because, you know, citizens, our lives are expendable. Whether you want to believe it or not, your government really doesn't give a fuck about your life unless you're one of those people that is bringing enough money for them to give a fuck about you. Until you bring in enough, bring in enough money for them to give a fuck about you, they won't give a fuck about you. Your life is expendable. Because guess what? You could have been... Let's just say you were... A politician a high-ranking politician you know brush shoulders with the best of them blah blah whatever you know how they do anyway let's say you were a politician and that Friday night you were gonna go out you're gonna go to the theater you're gonna go there but then you get a text message saying hey some such such and such is going to go down you're gonna have to just back off chill they look out for you you got a high-ranking official boom everybody else Oh, we didn't know it was going to happen. We didn't know it was going to happen. Oh my God, another tragedy. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. All the time. Certain people will be told not to be in a certain place at a certain time because something will happen. Well, it's funny, the Boondocks had an episode like that once, but I'm not even going to go into that. But France did have it coming because the French have done so much globally that it's about time it reap what it sow. And guess what, America? Yours is coming too. Yours is coming too. You're gonna get a knock on your front door from one of these people you wanna say is ISIS carrying the same freaking flag as Al Qaeda and the Taliban and all that other bullshit and trying to say it's a new faction, it's this, it's that. It's all the same shit. But nobody wants to nobody wants to address it, nobody wants to talk about it, nobody wants to speak on it, nobody wants to make it as publicly known as everything else they're saying about these Paris attacks. It's stupid. I think I'm gonna have to do this over. Or save some of it. Now, I do want to say this and let it be very clear 
because I don't even know why I'm gonna do it because people are still gonna take the other stuff and totally disregard this and say this is what I'm saying instead of that and this is what I believe instead of that but fuck it I'm gonna do it anyway so I can still refer back to the video and say if you scroll to this time frame this minute this second in this video you will hear when I say it that my heart goes out to all the innocent people lost in that tragedy it is not their fault it is not their fault their government doesn't give a fuck about them it is not their fault that they're expendable to their government or any government altogether it is not their fault I feel sorry for them any innocent life loss is a an innocent life lost anywhere is an innocent life lost everywhere we're a global community we're global citizens period now with that out the way France you had it coming France you had this shit coming yes you did yes you did no you didn't what about all the killings you've done around the world especially in multiple countries on the continent of Africa what about Haiti what about Angola Liberia Benin any of those countries anything rings a bell nothing in your past rings a bell what about that museum with the fucking heads of all these Africans you have for display what about that what about Sarah Bartman doesn't ring a bell that never happened oh what I'm, I'm still I'm waiting for an, I'm waiting for an explanation here because guess what at the end of the day you reap what you sow you've sowed all of this and America America you thought 9-11 was bad you thought 9-11 was bad do you know how much shit how much blood is on this country's hands do you know how much blood is on this country's hand do you really believe this country is going to escape a fiery wrath of revenge do you really think this country is that good that it's gonna be able to escape all of that after everything is done and have never ever ever been tried been taken to any kind of court martial or any kind of international court nothing how come nobody can bring America to the tribunal the world tribunal and try them for crimes against humanity how come but you know, it doesn't happen to America, France, England, Great Britain, you know, those very predominantly, clearly clean and white Caucasian countries. Never been brought to any kind of tribunal. Never been charged, put on trial, and convicted of anything. But yet, but yet, we have all these minority countries where you'll take the dictator, you'll assassinate him, execute him, overthrow him, send him off, and say he was killed by terrorists or rebel groups. You'll have him charged, tried in a world tribunal, and convicted, sentenced. All that should have happened. But yet none of that happens to America, French, Germany. Actually, I got to take Germany back. I'll take Germany back. But it doesn't happen. Israel. It's definitely Israel. Why, has, why hasn't it happened to Israel? Tell me that. All the shit that Israel is doing in Palestine. And for all those people putting up French flags on their damn Facebook page, shoot, where's your Palestinian flag? Huh? Where's your Libyan flag? Where's your Haitian flag? Where's your Angolan flag? Where's your Kenyan flag? Remember the 150 students that were killed there back in April of this year? Where's your flag for them? Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, how come Facebook didn't automatically make a flag for them or the people in Nigeria? You know, the girls that, was, that were kidnapped, that were abducted, by Boko Haram and what up, what's up with Boko Haram how come all of a sudden there's not much talk about Boko Haram aside from oh Boko Haram has joined Isis Boko Haram and Isis were all together in the first place plain and simple look at Boko Haram's flag look at Isis flag look at Al-Qaeda flag same shit different story hmm maybe maybe not 
Our president is lying to us. They're contained, we're containing them. They're so contained, they wouldn't be out bombing everybody and shooting everybody up if they were contained. But anyway, which actually leads me to another thing. So guess what? And I was actually having a discussion um, earlier this morning. And I was saying that, isn't it funny how when we go invade other countries, we go after other countries or people or whatever, organizations, entities, whatever you want to call them, we always get the head. We don't, you don't see us going out there doing mass shootings. You don't see it because they're not going to report it. America wouldn't stand to see that. That's ugly TV. Can't stomach that. But you do see, you do hear about the drone strikes. You do hear about all oh, this leadership being captured, this leadership being killed, and so on and so forth. But every time terrorists go do a terrorist attack, all you hear is innocent lives lost, innocent lives lost, boom, 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 mass shooting of innocent lives, nobody works there, just innocent people, innocent citizens. Now, here's, here's my problem with this scenario. Because if they're a terrorist organization and they're really trying to destabilize or topple uh, an oppressive regime or government, why not attack the government like heads of state, people in position? Why not attack them instead of just innocent civilians just hanging out, not doing anything to you? Why not do that? Hmm? If America can go take off, take your leadership, cut the snake's head off the snake, and be quote unquote successful by their own standards, why can't these so called ISIS terrorists and stuff target high profile people. Hmm? Hmm? Why not why don't they do that? I'm just saying, if I'm just saying if they have all these capabilities, they should be able to go ahead and get them. But here's what I here's my theory on that note. My theory on that is that the rebels, the ISIS, the terrorists, whatever. This is my theory. I cannot prove it 100%, but I believe in it a lot. Almost 100%, really. I believe in it. That these so-called terrorist organizations, these Muslim terrorists, are Saudi Arabian, backed by American Western power, and it's all a ruse. That is my belief. And what's crazy is they're killing all the Christians over there and leaving the Muslims while over here in this country their Christians are on the list, top 10 list of most dangerous organizations. So explain that. Explain that to me. They're trying to do something, they're working on it, but people don't understand what's really going on and that I understand that's a lot of bad news. And I didn't even want to get sucked into the discussion because it's very, very negative and very volatile, very touchy subject or whatever. But it was just like so much was going and it was one thing after another. I was like, all right, fine, let me say something. I'll finally say something. So here, this was my piece. This was my piece. At the end of the day, I said a lot already, but France, you had it coming. Fuck you. Sorry for the lies lost again. See, that's twice in this video now. Sorry for the lies lost. Again, that's three. Maybe one more time. Sorry for the lies lost in Paris. That's four times I've said it now. Very sorry. However, French government, France as a whole, you had it coming. You reap what you sow. America, yours is coming too. Britain, yours is coming too. Spain, you've been pretty quiet. Well, I say you're quiet only because our news doesn't cover much of whatever you're doing. I guess because it's all in Spanish, they don't really care. But as more Spanish people take over our country, maybe we'll start showing more news from Spain as well. I don't know. But anyway, I'm an H. Dunning, signing out for TLE TV. Make sure y'all check out the second part of this uh, second part of this video. It's a two-parter. France, you had it coming again. But this time, the second video, the second part is going to go more into the black reaction on social media and overall. Again, and H. Live Dooney, and I'm out. One.